Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is currently 4.57 p.m. on Monday afternoon, going into early evening. And it is very cold outside today. It is, I don't even know, I'm like uploading this video on my phone. Let me, well, I can't look right now while I'm air dropping it. Um, it's snowing outside. It's not like snowing heavy, it's just like lightly snowing. You know, like in the, uh, the skating scene at the beginning of Charlie Brown's Christmas, that's what it looks like. Um, but it's very, very cold outside. I knew it was gonna be cold, but I didn't expect it to be that cold outside today. So, I filmed a video out there earlier. I filmed my drama video out there, and then it got even colder. And I've been filming some other videos, and uh, well, I filmed some other videos before that, and then I filmed, I was uploading and working on here, and um, and then I texted Alex because I was trying to figure out where to vlog. And I was like, when are you coming home? And he was like, well, I'm going to pick up booze medicine right now and then I'll be home. So I think I have about 20 or 25 minutes um, until Alex gets home, depending on the traffic and things like that. So I'm going to vlog inside for a while and it'll either be a short vlog and then when he gets home, I'll end the vlog. Or I will uh, take the vlog outside for the end part of it. But needless to say, this will be a shorter vlog today because it's cold. And I know the lighting is bad in here and whatever. It's because of the sun coming in through the window. There's like no good place to, uh, to film. Um, my friend Nikki is doing these reviews on TikTok. And I was telling her, I was like... Um, can I give you like a trick because she was like filming and the window was behind her and I said film with the window in front of you because when you film with the window in front of you like you get the natural light like a ring light and she's like oh like she's like okay I'll try that so it's so horrible that this window is behind me because it's just like it's casting this huge shadow on me but anyway it is what it is and um I was looking for my uh lip balm my chapstick and stuff earlier I don't know where I put it I had it outside and I brought it inside, but then I didn't end up using it outside. It's not in my pocket. Oh, I have my other coat on. Hold on a second. I wore this Ugg coat outside today. So maybe it's in the pocket in here. Oh, I think it is. Oh yeah, here it is. So here's my lip balm and my chapstick. My treat chapstick. I have been so busy today, you guys. I didn't stay up super, super late last night. Um, I got about eight hours of sleep last night. I got good sleep. And I must have fallen asleep rather quickly last night because um, I remember like laying there and Boo Radley was having a hard time getting settled. And um, I like talked to him for a little bit. And then he got settled. And then I went to the bathroom and I came back and I must have fallen asleep right after that because I don't really remember much after that. And then I woke up this morning and I did not take a shower. So I was like, I'll take a shower later and get like all the hair off me because I got my hair cut today. And so I got Boo Radley, like took him outside, got him settled and stuff like that. Washed my face, brushed my teeth, did all that kind of stuff. And then um, got an Uber to uh, um, my hair appointment. And um, I had like really interesting Uber rides, both there and back. Really like great educational talks. The guy um, that was my driver on the way there was from, I always like am very talkative to the Uber drivers. And he was from Niger Nigeria. And he was, I was asking him all these questions about like when he moved here and Indianapolis actually has like a really big Nigerian um, population. I feel like I, I've met a lot of people that are from Nigeria. And so, um, he was like telling me about like what the differences are between there and here and when he moved here and stuff like that. It was very, very interesting. And then on my way home, my Uber dri driver was from Russia and he was talking to me about the war and things like that and why he moved here. And um, I, I was asking him like what people say here and he was like, you know, he was like, I've met a lot of people from Ukraine here and you know, um, both Ukrainians and Russians in the United States are very, very friendly to each other. And he was like, you know, the whole thing is very sad. And he was telling me everything about that. He was, he was like 27, I think he said, 27 or 28. Um, so anyway, he was like filling me on and all that kind of stuff. And he'd lived in the United States for about, I think like five years or something like that. And he said all of his family was here and he was telling me that. So anyway, but interesting conversations both ways. Um, 
So yeah, really educational conversations. I love to hear other people's experiences, like their lived experience. Um, <clears throat> that is not my lived experience. And I love to hear about, you know, uh, it's always interesting in talking to people that have moved here from other places, you know, especially being married to somebody that's an immigrant to the United States, having moved here from Venezuela. And when Alex moved to, from Venezuela to Indiana, he was 12. And, um, like for example, like, uh, Fufu and Carlos, his younger brothers, both moved here at the same time too. Carlos is 11 months younger, 12, 11 months younger than they're Irish twins, I think is what you say. Anyway, he was 11 months younger than Alex. They're very close in age, but Fufu is, I think, okay, let's see. Alex is going to be 40 and Fufu just turned 30. So he's like nine years younger than him. Um, so Fufu was very, very young when he moved here. And then they moved here for completely different reasons. They moved here for Alex's mom's job. And she is an engineer and things like that. And so at that time, she moved here for an engineering job. And that was why they moved here. Alex's brother, Carlos, moved back to Venezuela and um, after high school and lived with his dad and went to college in Venezuela. When he and Liliana moved here, they, they moved here because of how dangerous it is in Venezuela now and the civil unrest in Venezuela and things like that. And um, people are texting me left and right. As soon as I, nobody texts me, I mean, literally, I don't think I've gotten one text today and then, except for my husband and then people start texting me as soon as I start, start vlogging. Um, but when Carlos and Liliana moved here, they moved here, I think when Carlitos was like three and um, what's, what's the age difference between Carlitos and Sebastian? So Carlitos is 11 and Sebastian is eight. Maybe he was two when they moved here. Um, but it was really, really bad in Venezuela when they moved here. And, um, and that was like why a lot of Alex's cousins and stuff moved here too. And this, like hearing his, and his hearing his grandma talk about like people that she knows that are still living there or whatever. But it's, it's, it's always interesting to me to, like I was talking to this guy that, you know, moved here from Russia and I was asking him like about his family that still lives there. And he's like, I don't actually have a lot of family that lives here, lives there still, but people that I talk to, you know, it's very scary and, um, you know, I think it's one thing to like see things like that on the news and whatever and to hear a completely different perspective about it. I always um, feel more educated when I hear personal experiences by people that have lived through that, you know? Um, so anyway, I got my hair cut today and um, had a really good time with her. It was fun. And um, so yeah, so I uh, got my hair cut and then I walked over to Dunkin' Donuts afterwards and got a cup of coffee. And, um, then after that, took the Uber home and then got home. I, oh, I actually thought my appointment was at two o'clock today and it was at noon. My next hair appointment with her is at two o'clock, which isn't until like the middle of April. But so my appointment was at noon. So I was home by like one thirty-five or something like that. And so I was like, I'm going to start just filming videos right away. Well, there was this review that I've been wanting to do of the, this hair care product that I bought from, um, what do you call it? I think I made all my thumbnails. The humming should have stopped because the rendering is done. All my, two of my videos are up already. My review video and my Peter Dusta video are up already. And then my drama video, my Peterisms video, and my booktube video are uploading currently. And then when those get done, I'm gonna upload my reality TV video and my vlog. And then I have made a video on every channel today. Can you believe it? So anyway, um, there's been this product. I'm trying to like figure out the lighting on here. Not that anybody cares, <laughs> but um, I, there's been this a product that I bought online. I saw it on Instagram and I ended up buying it on Amazon and I showed it in a haul. It's called Tribal Chimp Hair Powder. And I bought the clay and the, uh, the, the, the clay and the mud as well. But Riley keeps on like going to, I don't know why he's not just laying on the bed. He keeps on going over here and looking at me. I think he kind of knows like the time of the day. He's like waiting for his dad to be home. I guess, well, he came down the stairs and I said, your dad's going to be home in a second. He got like real excited <laughs> and stuff. Um, 
So anyway, I wanted to do that review, but I wanted to do it like right after I got the shower because it shows like people putting the powder on their hair and then like transforming their hair. And so when I got done with my hair appointment today, she was like, do you want me to put product in your hair? Or are you gonna put your hat on? I said, actually, no, I'm gonna do this review. And so I was telling her about it. And she's like, oh, well, if it's good. I said, yeah, if it's good, I'll have to let you know and then you can get some of it because she's always looking for new products. So anyway, when I came home, that was like the first video that I did was the review video because I wanted to review those products while my hair was. So I actually did my hair earlier. You can't really see it so much right now. It kind of just, since it's white, it kind of just fades into the background. But um, I did that review and then I turned around and I did a Amazon haul because I had some things from Amazon. And then after that, I did a Peterisms video. I did all four of them. Like, well, I did the first one in the bathroom and then I did the other three in the bedroom because it's so cold outside. Then I, okay, so I did the review and then I can't, I did the haul and then I did, um, the Peterisms video, and then I was like, well, while I was like so worried I was gonna run out of space on my battery, I thought my battery would die. And um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to get my book two video on here too, because I wanted to do the announcements for True Crime Book Club and Peter's Book Club today. So I did those on there, brought those four down, rendered those, and I've been getting those up. I actually can't believe like I got so much stuff done and it's just now like right after five. It's kind of surprising to me. So anyway, and then, after that, um, I came down here and I started working on those videos. That's four videos. And then I filmed my drama video outside. I couldn't believe it. Like, earlier it wasn't. Like, it was, like, spitting, like, just a little bit of snow. But when I went out there to go film my drama video, it was, like, really kind of, like, coming down a little bit. I mean, not like it was sticking to the ground or anything like that. Not enough for that. But it was, like, coming down. It was, like, big, like, big snowflakes. And it was pretty. It was real pretty. But it's very, I mean, it's, like it's windy and it's really really cold outside so then I filmed my drama video outside then I came in and um, while I was getting these other videos uploaded I sat, sat right here with the bad lighting and I filmed my reality TV video so that was six videos and now I'm filming my vlog and uh, yeah I filmed videos on all of my channels today I can't believe it so, uh, and then Alex is gonna be home in a little bit and I don't think we have any TV shows to watch we're totally caught up um, on all of our TV shows. He is watching, well, he wa watched a season premiere of Grey's Anatomy last night. We watched RuPaul's Drag Race last night. Um, and then we also watched Untucked, which is the after show. So we got caught up on all of our shows last night. And then he went upstairs and he was watching, um, I asked him if he wanted to watch a movie. I was like, do you want to watch a movie? And he was like, no, I want to watch Grey's Anatomy. So he watched Grey's Anatomy and then he turned around and he he's watching Shameless. He like loves Shameless. I don't know if any of you guys have seen that out there, but he is like obsessed with Shameless. And so I was like, I was really kind of in the mood to watch a movie. And so, oh, well, I laid down before we um, started watching RuPaul's Drag Race, but I only laid down for like an hour and he was in bed looking at TikToks and stuff while I was laying down. So I got up and it was like, I think it was like 8 or 8.30. He just texted me. What did he just say? Something about his other meds. He's asking me if he should call in the other meds. Um, so, what's I gonna say? Oh, so I wanted to watch a movie last night. I was, we laid down and we watched RuPaul's Drag Race and he went upstairs. He went upstairs probably about, I think it was like 10, 10 30 or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, was it more like, 11? I think it was more like 11. Because I was kind of surprised he stayed up as late as he did. I think he watched, like, Grey's Anatomy and two episodes of Shameless. So, anyway, I was like, well, I want to watch a movie. So, I have so many movies that I want to watch. But I was talking yesterday about wanting to watch, or the day before, about Aristotle. I wanted to see Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Oh, I know why I was thinking that. Because I had gotten that um, Benjamin Ali or Sines book called The Last Cigarette on Earth or something like that. And I was looking at a lot of his books. I realized why I hadn't read many of his, like, I've read like half of his books, but the other half, the reason I hadn't read them is because they're not on Audible. And I listen to most of his books on Audible because the Audible narration for them is fantastic. And um, so anyway, so I was like, I really want to watch Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. It's one of my favorite books of life. I actually kind of Last night, I was like, 
It's interesting because so many people love that book and so many people relate to it. It takes place in 1987 and it's um, two kids that are Mexican. Well, one's biracial and the other one's, um, both of his parents are Mexican. And growing up in Texas and so anyway, it's just, it's one of them comes out and is gay and the other one like doesn't know and it's their friendship. And um, the book is fantastic. But the thing is, and so the two, the two boys, their names are Aristotle and Dante. And um, what I had forgot from reading, I mean, it, I read the sequel to it, which is called Aristotle and Dante Dive Into the Ends of the Ocean or something like that. I didn't like the sequel as well as I liked the original book. But one of the things I had forgotten about the book was that Dante is such like a free spirit and is just like so unapologetically authentically himself. They really capture it in the movie. I honestly like, I think if I had just read the book and I turned around and watched the movie, I don't think I would have liked the movie that well. But since it's been so long since I've read the book, I have to say I thought the movie was fantastically done. In fact, Alex coming from this very machismo Latino family, I was like, he really needs to watch it. I got like halfway through it and I was like, do you want me to start it over? And he was like, no, I'm in the show right now. I was like, okay, well, I rented it. You should watch it tomorrow night because it's really, I really think he would like it. It's, I, I told him to watch Love, Victor too, which Love, Victor is a spinoff of Love, Simon, but they turned it into a TV show and it's very similar to that. I think in that show, Victor is from, I think his parents are from Colombia in that show, but it's a lot about a similar thing about machismo um, and homophobia within in the Latino community. And um, it's just, it's fantastically done. But Dante is, in the book, he is like so authentically, apologetically, un unapologetically himself. And there, there's just one scene when Aristotle first comes over to his house and he's like in his room and like, Dante's room is like so cool. It's like a guitar sit in the corner. It's like, it's such a cool room. And he's like, you sh he was like, he pulls out this book of poetry by William Carlos Williams, and he reads this poem, and he's like, isn't that fantastic? He's like, here, read this while I'm cleaning my room, and, and Aristotle's just like, Ari's just like, I don't know what to do with this. The movie is really, really good. I have to tell you, I was super impressed with it. I, I bawled my eyes out. I cried. Um, the thing is that so much happens in the book, and there was a lot that was left out of the movie because they couldn't, you know, finish it all in time. So then when I got done with that, I was like, well, I kind of want to watch another movie. And right underneath it was recommended to me something like Summer, which was the movie that they made from the book by Jay, by Jay Bell. Jay Bell, who was really helpful to me when I was writing my book. I reached out to him because I had read something like Summer. I actually found out about something like Summer because at that time I was watching the vloggers. I just talked about them on another channel today. Will and RJ from Shep 689. They were a couple, RJ is bi, bi and Will is gay, and they were a couple that met while they were both going to the University of Florida in Gainesville, and then they vlogged for like the next seven years. They got married and things like that. They're no longer together on their channel. They don't put anything on their channels anymore. But I watched them for a very, very long time. Well, Will was an avid reader. And so he would talk about books all the time. I think he talked a lot about John Green's books and things like that. And he talked about, talked about reading this book called Something Like Summer by Jay Bell. And um, in the book, it follows these two guys, Ben and Tim, when they're like in high school. And then it follows them like when they're in college and then after college and then down the road, like after marriage and all this stuff happens. It's like, it follows through the years. He's actually written a whole series about it. It's like something like autumn. Some, well, the first one's something like summer, but I think it's like something like autumn, something like spring, something like winter. I think I've read something like winter. I don't, and they're all like at different periods of his life, of this Ben's life. So I started watching it last night. Will and RJ are actually in the movie, which I thought was really interesting because I can remember at that time, Will talking about it on the vlog, and that was how like a lot of people got introduced to these books by Jay Bell. Jay Bell's written a lot of books. And his husband does all the covers for the books, and he self-publishes them. The covers are fantastically done. A couple of his books I've read, and they're like, well, I, something like Summer. I think I've read like four or five of Jay Bell's books way back in the day. I haven't read them in a long time, but I really liked them. And um, they were like books that if I had had them in high school, they would have been really helpful for me. So I was really excited to watch this movie on the heels of just watching Aristotle and Dante, and I thought it was really good, and I was very moved by it, and it's just, the parents are fantastic in it, and it's just, it's a really moving, well, the story is moving. 
So anyway, I got done with that. I started watching Something Like Summer. I had to rent both of them. And Something Like Summer was just... It was bad. It was just really bad. The guy that plays the main character of Ben is nothing like Ben in the books. Like, nothing at all. Like, he's, like, over the top, like, super dramatic. There was, like, music. Maybe I'm not remembering the book well, but one of them was an artist, and I thought it was Ben. It ends up being Tim in the movie, but one of them was an artist. And in the, if I remember correctly, in the book, he has, like, in the attic or something, like, the secret studio which in the movie, it's like Tim's parents are very, very wealthy and they make him keep his artwork like in this warehouse, like, like where his dad works or something. It's the, like, cause they're ashamed of him being an artist. That's not what it is in the book at all. And it's very innocent. Like when you read the book, it's like this kind of, I mean, it, I mean, they're, in, you know, romantically involved, but it's very, like, an innocent kind of, like, love story. And, and this, it was, like... I mean, he's, like... Tim runs by his house every day, if I remember it correctly. And he kind of, like, wants to know who he is and wonders about him. I think that's why I related to it. It kind of re reminded me of the Rusty story a little bit. In the book, in the movie, it makes him out like he's, like, kind of like a stalker. Like, looking at him behind a tree with binoculars. And I don't know. The movie just was not good. The movie was not good at all. And, um... I mean, I watched the whole thing, but I have to tell you... There were, like, three or four times that, like, I was like, I should just stop this movie. This movie is stupid. Um, the actor that played Ben was, like, so over the top. I mean, he was, like, I mean, super exaggerated and stuff. And I'm like, and he was like, yeah, we should go to the movies. And I'm like, okay, you, like, this is not how Ben is, first of all. Second of all, this is not musical theater on a stage, okay? Like, and it very much came across that way. It's like musical theater on a stage in high school or something. I just really was not into the, the movie at all. So when that movie was done, I was, like, going to watch an episode of some true crime. And then I was like, no, just go to bed. So, because at that point, I think it was, like, 1.40 or something like that. I went to bed. Alex didn't text me back about, he asked me if he should call in Boo's other med. And I said, you might as well call it in. He didn't text me back. So, um, so yeah. So that was last night and then got up today. So I don't know what I'm going to watch tonight. Um, I don't know if I'm going to watch True Crime. Well, The Bachelor comes on tonight. I don't know if I'm going to watch The Bachelor. Well, tonight's the reunion of all the girls that have been on it the whole season. So I'm not super excited about that. So I don't know if I'm going to watch it tonight or wait till tomorrow when it comes out. Um, my phone's uploading the video or I would look at my weekly list. I think that's the only show I have on tonight is The Bachelor. I'm down to like, I was watch. I had like 10 or 12, 15 shows I was watching every week. I'm down to like six now. Um, cause we finished Truman Capote versus the Swans. The, well, The Bachelor's over next week. RuPaul's Drag Race, we're down to, like, the final five or something like that. RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world is almost over. I think they're not... Maybe they're the ones that are down to the final five. Um, I mean, all these shows are, like... In, I don't know what I'm going to watch. So it's Summer. Summer... Sister Wives, I think I'm going to watch. Um, but I'm really into the true crime. I like that the evil lives here. But I don't love the, the reenactments of it. Like, so, like, the Murder of the Friday Night Lights. I'll, maybe I'll finish that tonight, because I've only got three episodes left. I've got four, five, and six. Maybe I'll finish that tonight. Do I have one episode to go back and watch, or did I finish that one? I can't remember. So maybe I'll finish that tonight. I'd like to read a little bit, but I like to read outside. It's too cold. I can't walk tonight. I don't want to sit outside. I mean, it's cold, cold outside. Like, it's bitter cold. So, so yeah. That'll be tonight, and then... Alex will probably come home. He likes to, like, just relax and lay in bed and look at TikToks for, like, the first hour and a half that he's home. And, um, I don't know if he ate today or if he'll want to do something for dinner or... If not, I'll probably make one of my meals or something like that. But, yeah, it's been a good day. I've been, like, super productive getting all kinds of stuff done. What is this video that I'm... Up oh, this is my book club video and it's done. You guys want to be with me while I'm uploading it? Where am I at on time? Okay. You turn down the volume. My book club video is called Huge Book Club News. Are you so excited? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, 
Okay. So I have to go in and see when I watch it, and I have to see the beginning and the end to see if I like cut off the part appropriately. I don't do that on my um, on my vlog videos, obviously. Okay, so I did that correctly. Go get the thumbnail and stuff in here, and then we will publish this. I've been public. I've been posting a lot of videos on my. Um, Book two video or book two channel lately. Have you guys noticed that? Have you been watching it? Are you so excited? Do you love it? I've been having fun over there. I'm trying to keep more of my conversations about books over there and just remember that I need to post over there more often. Because I'll talk about books like over here. I'll even talk about books like on my other channels. And then I'm like, oh, I could have done that video on my booktube channel and then I would have had a booktube video to do and then I'm like no I'm not going to talk about it twice I'm not going to talk about it on my vlog and booktube channel so I got to uh, I got to I got to I got to remember oh and then my drama video is a processing so I've got to remember to um, upload where is this on my Peterism's video? On oh, my Peterism's video? Oh, it's still uploading. So I've got to remember to um, post about the books. I have a couple videos. Well, I just bought a bunch of books on Amazon. I just did a haul over there. And I have a haul part two that I'm gonna do because I bought a bunch of books for the summer again and they all came, not a bunch, I bought like five more books, five or six more books. But um, I want to, I want to uh, show what those books are because they're actually books that I don't know anything about. And um, they're like mostly gay, LGBTQIA plus literature and I don't really know a lot about those books. And they're books that I like looked up and I Google searched because I like wanted to read some like gay fiction. because I don't read a lot of gay fiction. Um, and I was like, you know what? I think that I need to kind of like step into that. I need to step into my like, I need to like step into, I'm trying to think of the right word, not own my gayness because I feel like I already do that. But like watch, I mean like last night watching Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. I was like, you know, like. I am proud of being gay and being married and things like that, but like I don't, I don't watch, Alex probably, and he doesn't even watch that many, but like he probably watches more shows than I do that are like gay themed, you know, like Fellow Travelers he watched, I still haven't watched that. Um, I feel like I did, there was a period that I did for a while where I was watching a lot of documentaries about like AIDS and things like that. Um, and felt like I was really like educating myself, but I haven't in a long time. And so I feel like I need to go and do that. Um, and so I want to start reading some gay literature and just kind of like, you know, enjoy being gay, I guess. And, um, you know, connect with that side of myself a little bit. Where is this? Hold on a second. I'm putting up this reality TV video. And um, so anyway, I bought some gay fiction. So I was like, you know what? I used to read this stuff when, like, right when I got sober and before I got sober. And I was like, this will be fun to read. And um, so, yeah. So I bought a bunch of books on Amazon that were recommended. I, like, looked up a bunch of these lists on Google. And I was like, it was, like, best gay, like, fiction and whatever. Oh, my husband just came home. My husband just came home and I'm almost at the 30-minute mark. So, you know what? I think I'm actually going to end this right now. This will just be a short vlog tonight. The last few nights have been really, really long anyway. And then when he comes in, he can just enjoy his night. And I can watch some shows, maybe take a little nap and stuff like that. So I'm going to end this early tonight. Tomorrow I'll try to do a longer vlog. Hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer. I can sit outside. So I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Monday and a fantastic beginning to your week. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Boo Radley loves you. I know my husband Alex loves you. We all love you. We're all about love over here, which is why I don't know why I'm throwing up my fists. Love. I love you. And um, yeah, I will. Hello. Hello. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love you.